When I think of the Holocaust, I think of the 36 names I saw written on the wall of a synagogue in Prague. 36 names that belonged to my distant relatives. 36 names, 36 people, who perished in the horrors of the Holocaust between 1939 and 1945. This video is dedicated to them and all those who perished alongside them. We played, we laughed, we were loved. We were ripped from the arms of our parents and thrown into the fire. We were nothing more than children. We had a future. We were going to be lawyers, rabbis, wives, teachers, mothers. We had dreams. Then we had no hope. We were taken away in the dead of night like cattle in cars. No air to breathe, smothering, crying, starving, dying. Separated from the world to be no more. From the ashes hear our plea. This atrocity to mankind cannot happen again. Remember us, for we were the children whose dreams and lives were stolen away. On Thursday the 27th of January, we remember all those who died in the Holocaust from 1939 until 1945, along with all those who died in the genocides from then until now across the world. It's our responsibility as a generation to stop this from happening. We have to make sure that we go and spread awareness about differences and how much we have to value differences, to love similarities and adore differences, because those are the facts that bind us as humankind. I feel a mixture of shock and disgust. More recent genocides and instances of ethnic cleansing means we need to work harder to combat hate crime. And it was a previous generation who had to deal with the aftermath of the last major genocide in Europe, the Holocaust. Now it's our turn to ensure that nothing like that happens ever again. I remember when I was eight, uh, they caught Pol Pot. I grew up in Asia and I asked my dad, uh, who he was. He said that he was a man who butchered half a million of his own people. A genocide that happened again after the Holocaust. A man he described as the most evil man of the second half of the 20th century. It's horrible that that happened after the Holocaust. We must make sure that that stuff never ever happens again. I think the West especially likes to think it's learned the lessons of the Holocaust um, that nothing like that will ever happen again but in reality things like that have been happening again and again and again in the decades uh, since the Second World War wherever it's in the Congo where four million people have died over the last uh, two or so decades or Darfur or Rwanda or Cambodia again and again it sees that we haven't learned the lessons at all and that history keeps repeating itself which is why it's so, why it's so important that we again and again take the time uh, to remember what happened in the Holocaust since the other genocide. After seeing all the camps in Poland, the death camps, the concentration camps, um, I think the main message I got was never forget what happened. Um, I think it's important that we remember just so that we never forget the atrocities that happened and it won't be repeated again. I don't think we're doing enough to raise awareness and create dialogue between different groups that stops a kind of discrimination which leads to massive social problems and massive things like bullying. I think it's really unfair that in today's modern society that people emphasise the differences between each other and at the end of the day, if everybody was exactly the same, then life would be boring. Everybody who has their differences adds their own value to society and that makes everything, that makes the world a better place to live. We still have such a high rate of discrimination in this country. Uh, we're very proud of a nation in the, as a nation in the 21st century that we don't have that many cases and yet the reality is that we still are bombarded with things on the news on a daily basis. If you look at regular football matches in this country and abroad, you can see all the time that there's still a high level of discrimination, there's racism, all sorts of intolerance that happens in this country and yet we happily ignore it because we, we think that we're really modern, modern age at the moment. But it's not true at all. Cases happen on a daily basis but we're just blind to it. Well, what do you think about the Holocaust? Um, the main lesson we need to learn is that the Holocaust wasn't just something that happened so many years ago. The Holocaust is something 
that's within every one of us. What's massively important is raising awareness and I think if we can get to a situation where awareness is raised on a level of all minorities, be that disabilities, women, LGBT, UA, ethnic minorities, religious minorities, that kind of stuff, then we can start to overcome some of the discrimination that we see in society, especially in Britain today. situations like genocide and the Holocaust, we really wonder what could actually make someone want to do something like that. It pulls at the heartstring that we are actually all same humans, it's just the fact that we may look different, speak differently, and uh, live in a different part of the world, but we're all humans. It's a shame that in such a multicultural country as Britain, in this day and age, that there's so, still so many misunderstandings between these different groups, um, and there's so many things that lead to discrimination. It's a sad fact that um, discrimination is a real truth in our society today. We live in such a diverse world that it's time that we do something about it and we get rid of it. We really care about, as a human race, respect, dignity, tolerance, understanding, and above all, responsibility to spread awareness about how differences aren't bad, but rather they will unite us in every way. I think it's really important to understand that the Holocaust didn't start with gas chambers or concentration camps, but much earlier it started with prejudice, discrimination and hatred, and these are problems we sh still have today, and these are problems we should be fighting today. Elements of suppression of multiculturalism, of linearity, are taking place in our society all the time, they're taking place in each and every one of us. We all struggle with them, and we need to make sure to be vigilant, both within ourselves and in our society, which includes British society, with the rise of far-right groups and includes genocide taking place all over the world right now. The Holocaust isn't something that was just in the past. The Holocaust is now, the Holocaust is within us, and the Holocaust is our problem as much as it was anyone else's. Uh, I think it's key that we remember basically prejudice and discrimination are sort of just based on lies and misconceptions, and yet they've resulted in some of the most horrific tragedies in sort of which are real. I think we shouldn't ever forget that. What we need to be doing is understanding different people, embracing the wonderful variety of people that we have around us. What makes this world us, us a wonderful place to live at times is that we are all different and we get different perspectives. Don't kill people, don't kill an entire society just because they are not like you. Many of the conflicts that have happened over the past have been a result of ethnic tensions, of long-seated and deep-seated um, hatred. Um, and through things like the Truth and Reconciliation Committee and many other ways, hopefully we can make it a better world. We have to stand up against discrimination. I'm fed up in this country having people say to me that they tolerate the gay community just as long as he doesn't come over here and pull me. This sort of behaviour is exactly what leads to the, this hatred that starts political conflict in other countries and I'd hate to see the same thing happen here. We have to stand up against discrimination. So I ask you, not in our generation, that we repeat such evil, diabolical acts. We've got to stand up and say, Not in our generation. 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 Not in my generation. Not in my generation. Not in our 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 generation. Not in my generation. Not in our 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 generation.